Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the uh, Mac that I told you in the last video. That was in the process. You guys only saw part of the frame. But this is a unique truck here. This is uh, my, actually my brother's truck. And he started this thing. And of course with these AMT Mac kits, they weren't the easiest thing to put together. And well, it kind of had an accident. We'll just leave it at that. And uh, it sat for a while, but we decided, hey, you know what? The cab, my brother did the paint on the cab. Did such a nice job on it. I figured, wow, what a waste, you know, just to let that cab go. So I went ahead and built basically 90% of the truck. And we gave it new life. And it's not quite finished yet, so we're going to call this part one. But uh, this is the basic truck, you know. He likes to build these things box art stock, which is kind of cool. Because you don't really see a lot of them done like that. And uh, we wanted to keep it with the Ryder motif on it. And uh, as you can see, so far, all things considered, if you saw this truck the way it was before, this thing had really turned out nice. You know, it was, it's, it's nothing fancy. You know, we didn't... Uh, do a lot of uh, super detailing on this other than in paint and apply the decals pretty much the way we want it but um, overall the truck really really came out nice considering that it was a total wreck the frame was in a million pieces uh, there was nothing really salvageable in this truck so we thought you know and um uh, but after a little patience, a little time, a little repaint here and there, for the most part, you know, it came out pretty nice. You know, I, I like it. I'm actually kind of impressed because usually when I do these trucks, I, I go a little crazy on them as far as detail and do a lot of research on these and try to get things prototypical. But this truck... For a box stock truck, it had a lot of fit issues, which is inherited with the AMT kits. Uh, it came out pretty good. I'm really impressed. Like I say, there's some little things to finish, you know, like tail lights and detail out the mud flaps. You know, put some tread plate on the frame right here, and put some air service lines and things. You know, little little tiny things. But for the most part, it, considering, like I said, it was a total, it was a write-off, pretty much. We went ahead and took a chance and resurrected it. And, you know, uh, you know, and see what we could do with it. And it, and it turned out pretty gosh darn good. You know, I mean, I, I custom made a little shifter in there. I got a little more modern shifter scratch built. I don't know if you can see it or not, but Mac had an air horn pull cord that was offset in the cab on the roof. Yeah, you can kind of sort of see it if you look close. They put that little detail in there. They weren't off to the side over the driver door like traditional trucks that were on the opposite side. But uh, here's a little fact for those that are not familiar with the Max and the cruise liner, the history of the cruise liner. It took over the F model, the famous F model steel cab, cab overs. Um, and when they came out with it, 75 and a half. And the way you can tell a 75 and a half Mac cruise liner is that little tiny red medallion with the chrome bulldog in the middle of it. They only had them for a certain small, short period of time. And that half, the rest of the remaining half year of 1975. And that's when they, they switched the grill design and stuff. But... This is purely a 75 and a half Mack cruise liner. Um, you know, Mack tried to break into the over the road truck series scene with this and, 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 and his brother, the big brother of the super liner. Uh, had success with both of them, more so the super liner than the cruise liner. Basically, a western truck. You could find them all over, but it's primarily designed for the western scene. Um, but there it is. I mean, I will keep you posted. And uh, 
you know, after I get, you know, working on some details on it and everything like that, and keep you abreast of what's going on with it. So, you know, another Mac. It seems like that's all I do here lately is build Macs, but, you know, normally I build the Pete's and the Kenworths and the traditional trucks and everything, but, you know, this is something different. You know, Jimmy's and Macs, you know, the old workhorses, you know, work trucks. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And as time goes and money comes along, I'll try to get some better video equipment. Because right now I'm just doing all this on my telephone, which is nothing more than a Walmart straight talk. So, uh, you're right. Everybody be blessed out there and happy modeling. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.